Most of the time, when you're looking at a logic grid inside the piano roll, it's divided up into 16 bits or 16th notes. That is very useful when you're lining up all of your notes bang on the grid, tightening it up through quantization and that sort of thing. But what if you want triplets? What if you want to see just eighths? Here's a quick tip in Logic Pro to change that grid to whatever you like. Hey, my name is Steve, composer, engineer, and lecturer, and welcome back to the channel. I want to take a look at a very quick tip in Logic Pro that saved me so much time. When someone showed this to me, I was just like, it's amazing, fantastic. And that is how to change the grid to whatever you want. Specifically for me, it was be able to change it to triplets so that I can match up my triplet hits perfectly. This all happens while you're using MIDI instruments. So let me jump into the piano roll and show you what I mean. Okay, so here I am inside Logic Pro and I've just got a basic contact library loaded up, Action Strike, something that comes with native instruments. And it's awesome for those big hits. Now, something that's very common in cinematic music is that kind of triplet hit. You know, the one that's sort of like dun 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 bum, you know, and it's usually got some anvils or something in there like that. I think Terminator or something like that has got those huge percussive industrial mix sounds and they're, they're fantastic. They do rely on triplets though. So they're using triplets to make those three distinct hits before the final fourth one that lands on beat one of the next bar. The tricky part here is that our grid is actually divided up into sixteenths, which doesn't really work for triplets. Over here, I'm gonna create a new MIDI region so I've got something to work with and I'm gonna open up the piano roll. Down here in the piano roll, right now we are looking at one whole bar. So we're looking at beat one there, beat two, beat three, beat four, and going on would be bar two. Inside here, you've got 16 blocks. This grid is divided up into 16 blocks and this is very common for all doors. You'll have the piano roll at the side, so the higher the key, the higher the pitch, and it lines up with like F, for instance, being an F note. I'm dealing with percussion of course, so it's not quite tuned to the pitch, but you can imagine if it's a piano or something like that, if you press that F key, it's going to sound an F note. And the higher that F is on the piano roll, the higher the pitch is going to be. So because it's divided into these 16th notes, you can come in here and use the pencil tool just by holding down the command key and click in some notes. Right now I've left a gap in between, so basically I'm hitting every eighth note. And if I play that, something quite nice and something very usable. However, with triplets, you want to play outside of those strict 16th notes or eighth notes, that simple rhythm. You're looking for triplets. You're looking for something that is divided by three, not by two. If I focus my attention up here, you may never have seen this section before, but over here, we're talking about the time signature and below that, the division. So right now I'm in 4-4 and I'm at 120 BPM, but my bar is divided into 16 parts or 16th notes. We can change that and that's how you can get the triplets. So here when we click on that option, I've got loads of options. I can divide by 32 so I can subdivide it a little bit further. Now every 16th note is divided in two, so I've got two 32nd notes. The one I'm interested in though are these in-between amounts, the 24, the 12. Think about triplets for a moment. They are three notes in place of two. It's sort of like a 1.5 ratio. So if every two notes is actually three notes, our 16th note divisions, if we want 16th note triplets, we want 24 notes in that bar. So let me click on the 24, for example. Now we look back at our eighth notes. These are still exactly where they were. They are all on the eighth notes, but now there are three notes inside every one of them. Because instead of two 16th notes, we've got three 16th notes that are in a triplet. How about I come in here and I change it to, I don't know, maybe 12. Now we're looking at eighth notes. So instead of there being two eighth notes, there are now three eighth notes in the space of one quarter note. So I've got eighth note triplets. And you can see here the second eighth note is landing right in the middle of this block because it's three in the space of two. So now I've got my subdivision set up correctly. Now I can add my triplets. Let's say at the end here, I wanna add in some triplets. I'm gonna use my command key and I'm just gonna click in each of these. Now I'm gonna loop up this bar and you'll be able to hear the triplets being played at the end. Really cool, right? Really quick, really easy, something that you can flick backwards and forwards between. Suddenly you need eighth note triplets while you're composing. Throw it into a division of 12. Sixteenth note triplets, pop it into 24. Thirty second, well, pop it into 48. You get the idea. Not only is it really good for visually lining up notes, it actually has an impact on our metronome as well. Our metronome here, you can turn on 
and off quite simply, and it will just play usually the beat. But if we take a look at the metronome settings, there's actually an option to add in divisions. So instead of just playing the beats, it will actually also play the division. So let's turn that one on. Now I'm gonna leave it at 16, the standard, and we'll hear what impact that has. You can hear very fast duh, 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 patterns because that is actually playing every 16th note, which is quite a few notes in a 120 BPM track. Thing is though, if you wanted to hear the eighth notes, so instead of you just hearing the beats, you wanted to hear a sort of walking pattern, maybe that might help you play better or play those triplets better if you're playing them in with a keyboard or pad. Let's change it to a division of eight. So now we're playing eighth note divisions. So I'd come in here and I would change it to eight and now it should be playing quavers. You can actually see my uh, measure at the top there change, so now it's only got eight divisions. If I pop it back into 16 there, you can see those extra subdivisions being added. So it's even changing that at the top there. All right, and now let's play it again. So now you can hear this dum bum 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 sound to the metronome. You might be working with, say, a drummer, and it's a really slow track, and they want to be able to hear the offbeat as well as the onbeat every eighth note. This is how you do it with the metronome. So a really handy, really useful tip. It's so quick and so easy to use, but it's something that's just not really well known. So now you do know it, and I hope you walk away with a handy trick up your sleeve for those times where you want to pop in some triplets, change those divisions, or get a different metronome division. There are so many quick Logic Pro tips that can really speed up your workflow and, and just help in the smallest of way, but make a massive impact for you. And plenty of those get shared on this channel, so why don't you subscribe and follow along for some more in the future. Otherwise though, I will catch you in the next one.